All right, in this video, we're gonna stretch and go after the superficial front or um, arm line and deep arm lines, which kind of just think of all this as your chest coming up through there. Okay, so we're gonna stretch that first in the elastic properties, um, and we'll start by hands over head, and we're gonna take it about 45 degrees, and we're gonna rotate so our thumbs are back. Okay, and as we rotate, keep your midline nice and engaged, maybe even engage your lower body by screwing your feet into the ground just engage everything so we're just nice solid base 45 degrees and we're just gonna take it back into that bounce all right kind of feel that bounce back nice and controlled for about 20 reps really reaching too like someone's stretching your arms Almost there. Good, shake it out if you need to. Next one, we're gonna go straight horizontal. Again, lock it all in. Reach. One, two, three, five, six, I think I did some extra there. I'm just feeling good. All right, and we're gonna go down. Again, just try and open your palms as much as you can. All right, lock everything in. We're gonna go down. Twelve, Really pushing it back, feeling that stretch. Good, shake it out. And then for this one, we're gonna get kind of the whole front line into it, okay? I'll go on my mat so you can see, and I'm really gonna lock everything in. I'm gonna keep my pelvis tucked correctly, right? Getting up to neutral. And I'm gonna really kind of throw everything back and try and really open my chest in the process and then come forward, okay? So it's gonna look like this. Reaching back, hips forward, squeezing the glutes. Squeezing the legs together. Really squeeze the glutes. Keep the core tucked in. Just to protect everything, but we're reaching back. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. That was one of my favorites. It also probably leave you feeling super sore in the core tomorrow. Totally normal. It actually feels good. I like it. Um, we're going to go through that whole series sequence again. Okay. So we'll start. Shake it out. Start, lock it in, reach out about 45, and then back. Really reach in, thumbs back, let your chest come forward. We want to do one about every second or so. And that's kind of where we find that bounce we're looking for, to hit that fascia. I lost count, go three more. Good. Let's go right into horizontal. Really reaching. Pulling those shoulders back and down. Staying tight in the midline. Good. Maybe a quick shake out. Counter that. And maybe back. Maybe go this way this time. Palms down. Screw everything in. Ten. Nine. 
19, 20. Good. Shake it out. And we got our whole full body lean backs. Good. Lock it in again. Make sure you're we're still trying to, I know we're leaning back. We still want to try and keep our pelvis hips neutral just to even get a little bit more stretch in our core and just protect our back and glute, you know, protect it all. Just keep it all engaged, right? So again, hands overhead. Reach back one. Open up that chest. Six. Squeeze that lower body in. Reaching. So good, good, good. Now we're gonna go on the floor and work into that plastic, right? We just kinda like, think of the fascia, right? We were just kinda trying to get in that bounce of it, right? Think of it as these overlying sheets. And now that we're stretching that bouncing, now we're gonna take it into kinda like these longer holds and do it for about eight breaths, you know, five to eight breaths. And really like, now that we kinda start breaking those bonds, trying to let them reform by stretching them plastically kind of in a stretched out position okay Ooh, it's hot down here so we're in, what we're gonna do is lay on our stomach and reach all right really reach out right it's all about what makes this stretching different is we're trying to stay active in it right so we can even press down if we want to hunker in and from here, we're gonna kind of slowly work our left leg over our right knee while keeping that right side engaged. We kind of keep going with as far as you can, right? Take a deep belly breathing, pressing down, staying active with it. We also shouldn't hurt. Right, you should just be active. Rotate your tricep. Right. Easy to bring it up. Maybe looking over, throwing this arm down. This hand's still active. Good, slowly on out of it. And then we're going to the left arm. Again, really reaching. Really reaching. And slowly coming over into it. Really keep that arm engaged. Reached out and pressed and rotated. And just exploring here while keeping it engaged. Deep belly breathing, a couple more. Good, slowly get back up. Good. Next, last one, we're gonna kinda go into 
this tabletop position. Just ignore that. It's noon. What we're gonna do is bring our hips up and walk them forward. And you can keep inching them far forward as much as you can. I'm starting with my fingers towards my feet. I'm gonna try and punch my elbows kind of together to open up my chest. And I'm gonna start with an arch and kind of like sink my chin deep and open up here. Just a little different variation of this stretch. Really trying to fight the elbows together. And then trying to get the upper back into it to get more of a different chest stretch, an anterior shoulder stretch. Deep belly breathing. And then from here, we go this way and reverse it. Now we're gonna go play around with the hand spacing. And then go opposite way so we're kind of leaning into it. Keeping those arms straight and rotate back. That's some frontline chest stretching, right, of the fascia. Hope you enjoyed.